Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Connor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper at the highest level of international football. And in today's episode of the vlog, you join me in a very rainy Estepona here in Spain. It's a bit of a sign of what's to come because today, me and Frankie are heading back home for Christmas. We're flying home to Manchester, where I'm sure the weather will be a little bit more like this. But today's episode of Keeping Goals is gonna be a recap of 2019. It's the last vlog of 2019, so we thought it'd be a good idea to go back through some of our favorite moments from the past year, both on and off the pitch. It's been an incredible year, and it's been amazing to share it with so many of you guys. We're gonna talk through some of our favorite bits and take you back down memory lane. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode of Keeping Goals. Let's get into it. So in January 2019, on the pitch, I was playing for Loughborough University in my final year as a student athlete. Keeping Goals as a channel only had 1,192 subscribers. So props to you if you were there in January 2019. In January we did a video speaking about what to focus on during trials as a goalkeeper when I had a trial for the England University team in the same day as one of my final year exams. Unfortunately, I didn't get into the team and it was also my worst exam mark, so it wasn't the best day, but at least we passed. Then, in February, Johnny and I went on a trip to Stockholm for some trials with Swedish teams. It was a trip that had a little bit of everything, incredible scenery, good performances in front of coaches, injuries, and even editing keeping goals by practically candlelight. When Keeping Goals has a million subscribers, we're going to show everyone this video of us eating wraps off the floor and editing on a, on a blow up bed. With only this to light our way. Welcome to the creator life. During the time in Sweden, I unfortunately sprained my shoulder joint, which put me out for about a month. During that rehab time, we spoke about dealing with injuries as a goalkeeper, what you can focus on. It was a very frustrating time of the year because seeing as I was out for a month, I missed a lot of games with Loughborough University and during that time we were knocked out of Bucks, which is the National University's competition and a competition I've always wanted to win. So it meant that I left Loughborough University having never won a Bucks winner's medal, which is still one of the biggest disappointments of my career so far. around that time as well. In March was one of my favorite videos of the year, the ultimate goalkeeper challenge with the housemates from Loughborough. If you haven't watched that, go and give that a watch because that is hilariously funny. Getting non-goalkeepers to join in with goalkeeper drills and find out who is the best goalkeeper. Give that a watch if you haven't already. Full of laughs. So March and April, the majority of that time, was spent trying to get fit again, get back into training and trying to force myself back into the Loughborough University team. You guys were along for all of that, 
we were successful in doing that. We got back from the injury, fully recovered, back in the first team, ready for the final of the County Cup. The first final that I'd played in with Loughborough University, one of my final games, and unfortunately, we lost the final 4-1. Another low in the 2019 year. So we graduated from Loughborough with a 2-1 degree in international business, celebrating with my best friends, my close family, and leaving the uni that gave me so much. At the same time, we were still looking for a football club, so the aim was to find a full-time football club for the 2019-2020 season. And during that summer, there was lots of applications, lots of letters, lots of emails, lots of conversations to try and find somewhere to play including attending numerous trial days such as the player trader trial day which we filmed for keeping goals in Loughborough and that is a video which is close to breaking 300,000 views which is ridiculous to say the least thankfully that trial day did lead to an opportunity We broke through a thousand subscribers in June of 2019 alongside showing you the gym workouts that I do with Jordan Slack, the SSC coach. We did the strength workout for goalkeepers and the power workout for goalkeepers. We also brought you the off-season training for goalkeepers video with Scott Healy from JFK Manchester to show you what I do out of the season when I want to train and prepare ready for pre-season with a club. Finally, in July, the opportunity came to join Europa Point FC in the Gibraltar National League and Series 3 of Keeping Goals began. You saw the house that I stayed in for a month whilst I was on trial, full of the other trialists. You saw my debut in the league, signing for the club, looking for flats with Frankie in Spain. And then finally, breaking 20,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel which is unbelievable. We also started a new partnership with Calia, showing you the incredible goalkeeper gloves that they produced. They became my goalkeeper glove sponsor for the season. And also remember, you can buy any Calia products with a 10% discount using the discount code O'Keefe. So make sure you get on that as well. I've seen them already. <laughs> but during the time in Gibraltar, we've had wins, we've had losses, we've had team of the weeks, but every single week we have worked to chase improvement and to achieve the goal of becoming a professional goalkeeper at the highest level of international football. So a crazy 2019, full of ups, as many downs, but lifelong memories and lessons. I could never put into words how grateful I am that you have shared it with me, that you tune in every Sunday, that you give me your time, give me your attention. I hope that in return, me and Johnny have been able to bring you value with every single episode and helped you on your own journey, whatever that might be. But I really am extremely grateful to have shared this Keeping Goals journey with you so far. So thank you so, so much for making 2019 such an incredible year, both on and off the pitch. I have a feeling that 2020 is gonna be even better and that this decade is the one where big things are going to happen. And I can't wait to share the next stage of this journey with you guys. So all that's left for me to say in this final episode of Keeping Goals in 2019 is happy Christmas, have a wonderful time with your family, with your loved ones, and a happy new year. I'll see you in January for a new year and a new episode of Keeping Goals. Thank you for watching, as always. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss an episode of Keeping Goals. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Happy Christmas, and I'll speak to you in a bit.
I missed a big tunnel, there we go. Spanish omelette in a sandwich. If you know, you know. Sabes. 